A user by the name of Pilgrim Pater recently left a comment suggesting that I would need to respond to Nephilim Free's latest misrepresentation video he made against me. He suggested that I should do so since my arguments were sound and that Nephi's counter responses were glossing over the points I made while going off on another tangent. I have to say, with all due respect, Pilgrim Pater, I disagree. There can be no response to an antisocial, intellectually vacuous individual who relies on ad hominems, insults, put downs, censorship, red herrings, non sequiturs, outright lies, and arrogant smugness in response to evidence based points that demonstrate he is wrong. There can be no response to an individual who believes that the Earth is only 6,000 years old in spite of the fact that we have elements with half lives of hundreds of millions of years, who believes that the Sun revolves around the Earth in spite of the fact that the Sun is several orders of magnitude greater in terms of mass than the Earth breaking several laws of physics in the process, who believes that the Earth is the centre of the universe in spite of the fact that the entire universe revolving around the Earth would break the speed of light several billion times over, breaking even more laws of physics in the process, who believes that there was a global flood despite the fact that geological layers contained several periodic levels that dispute this claim and why geologic layers are not uniform across the planet which would be a requirement for a global flood, who believes that the mantle is not comprised of magma and is not hot, despite the fact that we see the effects of magmatic eruptions from volcanoes, who believes that his two years of internet browsing on creationist websites constitutes actual scientific research and therefore trumps the collective knowledge of scientists who have spent their entire lives learning about how the natural world really works, who believes that there is no such thing as quote mining against the evidence to the contrary, who believes that it is perfectly acceptable for himself to denigrate, insult and ridicule the intelligence of his critics while claiming that evolutionists do not have the same moral values as Christians, in doing so demonstrating that he thinks that it is acceptable to say that accepting the evidence for evolution, cosmology, plate tectonics and the periodic table somehow precludes a belief in any religion on the planet, who thinks that being an ex-professional photographer somehow gives him the argument from authority in respect to copyright claims, who continuously diverts off on tangents, addressing his critics as if they made statements that they did not make, and who thinks that it is perfectly acceptable to pound a kid's head against a rock just because that child is part of a group who rejects genocidal beliefs as stated in the Bible, yet somehow thinks that anyone who expresses scepticism where no evidence exists is somehow inferior to a man who accepts uncritically the claims made in a two to three thousand year old book of fables and myths. The creationist in question recently posted a video response to my name and shame video of him claiming that I don't know what I'm talking about while demonstrating that he is prepared to gloss over my points and go on a tangent about something he clearly has no idea about. Others have already refuted his claim about the water in the mantle on the tabletop mountain around the world including Talk Idiots, otherwise actually known as Talk Origins, Mr Creationist and I feel no need to reinvent the wheel, especially in the face of a man who ignores such refutations as if they haven't been made, and continues to make stuff up and post it as if it were fact. And as I've previously reminded this creationist, posting pretty pictures of mountain ranges on the internet in a video is not evidence of his absurd and contradictory beliefs. He also mentioned a challenge to do some homework. Apparently I have a limited number of days to carry out a challenge to him. The answer I give is no. I will not do anything that this arrogant individual demands of me. No matter how much he threatens to make an example of me, no matter how much hounding he does in trying to get me to meet his ridiculous and pointless challenge, I regret to inform him that I am not interested in any form of debate with someone so formally unplugged from reality as to believe, in contradiction to the laws of physics, that planets with much higher mass indices than the Earth will orbit the Earth as opposed to the other way around, and that the Earth is the centre of everything. So thank you, Nephilim Free, but I regret that I must disrespectfully decline your request. Best wishes, FS Atheist.